My name is Michael O'Brien. I'm a uh, freelance radio reporter, and I report on opioids in New York City and across the country. Actually, I heard about the hole and immediately decided that that was something that need to be, needed to be reported on. Um, I'd been following Tino uh, for a few months and um, you know, following drug users and harm reductionists in the South Bronx. And I heard about this place that was, had been around for 50 years and it had developed a community and that these were the most down and out drug users and they were living there and that they just gotten kicked out of their space. And that all seemed like a story that needed to be told. Well, in the story, uh, the hole is emptied out. It's slated for to be filled in, to be the foundation of a new police precinct. And um, that ha is happening. Construction has broken ground. So the hole is no more. Um, and the outreach to the people who were living in the hole, uh, the most down and out homeless drug users in New York City, I'd say by any measure, um, the outreach to them is still being done by harm reductionists and, um, you know, people like Tino and the team at John Jay. Drug users' basic needs are only being met by harm reductionists for the most part across the country. And most of the, um, public health, most of the public health initiatives that are actually benefiting drug users and people addicted to substances come from harm reduction and continue to come from harm reduction, whether it's safe injection facilities or, um, you know, from needle exchange to safe injection facilities to, um, kind of combating the tough love ethos, um, these are all proving to be, you know, according to the data, the most effective uh, ways to combat drug use and also the most humane. And that comes from harm reduction. Um, supply side interventions, i.e. law enforcement, isn't having, um, doesn't seem to be having any effect on the drug supply or overdose numbers as they continue to increase. Tino is still quite active in the uh, harm reduction community. I actually reached out to him to see if he could tell me what he'd been up to. Um, actually, I haven't talked to him for, for a few weeks. I can tell you that um, he's hard to reach. I usually, uh, these days, I usually only talk to him by phone. And um, he's been going to Ohio. He spends a lot of time in Philly. Um, also, he went to Dublin recently. He's going to Portugal. He's all over the place, trying to learn as much as he can and bringing harm reduction to places that don't have it including uh, what he calls Trump country, uh, small towns in Ohio. That's where he's been spending some time trying to show people there how to keep their family members alive. 